Bionic Dance is filmed in front of a live studio audience. And I couldn't help just binge watch a certain segment of, of videos of atheists just looking back on their great debates against Christians between 2007 and 2012. But then it occurred to me that I really needed to ask a question to all of these good old-fashioned atheists and skeptics like T.J. Kirk and Vernaculus and Thunderfoot. Hey, where's my name? Jerk. Let's do this. Greetings, fellow space travelers. Bionic Dance here. Forgive the lack of animated background. This is going to be short and sweet, and setting up that green screen takes forever. So the question here, a challenge to atheists, is whether or not our worldview deals with the questions and problems of life. The problem is that this fundamentally misunderstands atheism, and probably why so many religious people try to classify atheism as just another religion. You see, there is a difference between atheistic and secular. Both atheism and theism deal with the belief or absence of belief in a god, while religious and secular deal with the questions brought up by our friend here. Those are worldviews. Atheism doesn't deal with doctrine and dogma, and it's not a worldview. It describes one single data point, the number of gods believed in being zero. That's it. Full stop. Science does not have, as part of its principles, believing that no gods exist, and if science could prove that a god does exist, or that one doesn't, it would be accepted not on the basis of belief or its absence, but on the evidence. That's a secular source of knowledge without being inherently atheistic. And it's the same for all of the other issues brought up, from psychology to marriage, gay or straight, to simple codes of moral and ethical behavior. There is no god necessary for any of these things. They can be entirely secular, but none of them require atheism, and if a god exists, the only thing that would change is their nature, for the people who decide to obey the deity in question, that is. Secular worldviews can still be followed, since the basis of the religious ones is only God's opinion and not inherent to the universe. My question back is this. If it was shown to you that a god does not exist, yet you don't have an easy rulebook of doctrine to follow on which to base your worldview, would you go back to your religion, despite knowing its basis is false? If so, why? For certainty and confidence, however false its claimed origin and nature? It's always sort of implied that through skepticism there is going to be some new healthy take on reality, something that will really exceed what came before it. You acknowledge that these are relative measures. Better is a comparison, not a declaration of being inherently positive. And let's face it, a secular worldview is of a rather harsh and unforgiving universe. But ask yourself this, would you rather have harsh truths or comforting lies? Which will better enable you to react to the world when confronted by something uncomfortable or disastrous. If atheism is true and there is no God, for you that might suck, but will you learn to cope? And this is a question that all internet atheists and skeptics should be asking themselves. Is your movement a one of self-congratulation or a one of genuine inquiry? Oh, I'm confident in our ability to manage both. Because if it is indeed one of genuine inquiry, you'll find other intelligent people who disagree with you. Their intelligence won't make them any less wrong. Even a smart person can be a fool. The difference is that atheist arguments are, more often than not, a debunking of religious claims, and, if done right, based on logic, reason, and evidence. And it doesn't matter how intelligent you are if you cannot respond in kind. Most religious claims are full of logical inconsistency, historical inaccuracy, and unfounded claims. And if we can show your claims to be wrong, I think we're entitled to the occasional fist pump. All I see looking at the internet atheists at this stage is a triumphalism built on the back of lol cows. Well, that's because you're not watching my channel. Hint, hint, poke, poke. So at this point, I want to put out an actual challenge to all the big-name internet skeptics and atheists on YouTube. And here I'm very much talking about TJ, the Amazing Atheist, Vernaculus, Armored Skeptic, Thunderfoot. Hey! Hey! It's time to justify the triumphalism by not just searching the internet for the biggest lol cows, but actually engaging the arguments and confronting the worldview to show once and for all that skepticism actually has something to offer the world other than just some kind of self-righteousness in the face of a dying civilization. 
What skepticism has to offer the world is an objective, fact-based examination of reality and a willingness to accept what has been found and tested in order to verify its truth, regardless of one's personal feelings. The problem is, I suspect most religious people don't see this as a positive or a benefit. Still, it sounds as if what he really wants is a social or emotional offering, which I kinda already dealt with. I'm hoping this challenge can provide a first step to actually kicking off one further conversation. Because I think in many ways the skeptic and atheist movement ended too early. What, am I chopped liver over here? I'm still arguing religion, and I'm from the early days of YouTube atheism. Come on! So for now, people like TJ, the Amazing Atheist, Vernaculus, Armored Skeptic... <laughs> I do hope you look at this. I hope you can take me, the distributist, up on this invitation to have a further conversation with our community. I'm sure we can come to a lot of very interesting observations, not just about atheism, but perhaps about the nature of Western civilization itself. Well, I know you've gotten a response from Godless Cranium. Now you're getting one from me. There are several up-and-comers out there who are the new YouTube atheists, plus a few from the old guard like my dumb butt. So don't go counting on those folks who've become SJWs today. They aren't going to talk to you. You want to talk atheism and religion? You come to us. Until next time, fellow space travelers, this is Bionic Dance saying don't run on automatic. Instead, please, think. Even YouTubers need Ferraris. Please donate on Patreon. Well, whoever that is, she's got to get by us. Go get her, Sandra! Schmoozer the Schmoozerian, good evening. As a duly designated representative of the YouTube channel Bionic Dance, I order you to cease any and all trolling activity and return forthwith to your website of origin or to the nearest convenient internet site. That ought to do it. Thanks very much, Sandra. Do you believe in God? No? Then... Subscribe! Sandra, when someone asks you if you believe in God, you say... Wait, actually you got that right. Never mind. <laughs>